So Mark Edit has the ability to process multiple files at once, which comes in handy when you're dealing with large batches of data. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate uh, how this works. So Mark Edit has a batch processing tool built into the application. Go to Tools, Batch Processing Records, and you'll see that um, Mark Edit has a drop-down box. Everything that uh, has been defined for use within the application uh, can be uh, executed from this batch processing window. Um, I obviously have more on my list here than probably most people. Um, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate uh, batch processing uh, mark XML data to mark. I go ahead and select it from my list, uh, mark XML to mark. I select the source directory where all of my data lives, and so I have a, a selected file here, a test file, a set of files. Uh, there's a I think about uh, 1,010 records in this folder. And I give it the file types. So in this case, it'll be an XML file. And I go ahead and process. And now Mark Edit will go ahead and process the records. And you can get a, a status box where it shows um, the records being processed. Uh, so here Mark Edit's taking the data in XML and translating it um, through the uh, whichever um, Mark XML algorithm you're using, either the native algorithm or the uh, XSLT algorithm, and translating the data back into, into Mark. And so the file's been generated. Um, I can go back and I can look at those files. In this case, I put my data in. It started in a split up directory. These were my source files. I originally started with them in Mark. I translated them to XML. And here they are going back into Mark. So after running the batch process. So that's um, the, the simple way of handling um, small batches or even large batches. Mark Edit will handle um, as many files as are in, is in a, in a folder. And like I said, the, it will only process the files uh, for the extension that's been given um, when you uh, provide that extension in the arguments list. Uh, so if you have any questions, uh, just let me know.